Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about the output characteristics of a common emitter configuration of an NPN transistor. So, when it comes to output characteristics, what are the output parameters we have to consider? It is VCE, output voltage and IC is the output current which is called as a collector current. So, in every NPN transistor CE configuration, the output current is the collector current. So, the objective of the NPN transistor is to see how much amount of signal, how much amount of current is amplified. So, as I already said in the previous videos, BJT is a current control device, IB is the input current and IC is the output current. We have to see how much amount of current is amplified. For example, if IB is the input current which is in microamps, it will be amplified as output current in terms of milliamps as collector current IC. So, IB should be amplified to IC milliamps. This is microamps. Microamps. So, let us start to analyze the characteristics curve. Here, first we are setting IB as 0. Here we have to understand that IB is the parameter which has to be kept constant at each and every step where we want to study about the curve of VCE and IC. First here we will as have as IB equal to 0. If you remember this expression IC equal to beta IB plus beta plus 1 IC BO. Here if base current is 0, if IB equal to 0, what will be the case of this? IC will be equal to ICEO, which means there will be only small amount of reverse saturation current going over this NPN transistor and no forward current. When IB is 0, there will be influence of only the reverse saturation current. So, here when IB is 0, I start to increase VCE. So, I get a very minimum amount of IB, very minimum amount of IC. This IC in Y axis, I get very minimum amount, which is the reverse saturation current. Though I have put in a magnified way, this is a very small current, mm, less than uh, 0.05 milliamps like that when IB equal to 0. As I start to increase IB value for 0 0.1 milliamps or it can be called as 100 microamps. What will be the case? As I increase the base current, keeping it constant, this is IB increased to 0 0.1 milliamps, IC starts to increase. As I further increase the base current to keep it constant to 0.2 milliamps or 200 microamps, 0.3 milliamps, the collector current starts to increase for each set of base current which is kept constant. With the help of an equation, we are going to see how, do, how does the increase of base current at each step increases the collector current. So, this is that equation VCE equal to VBE plus VBC. So, VCE is the split up of base emitter voltage and base collector voltage when discussing about the output characteristics of a common emitter configuration. This equation will be helpful. Now, VCE equal to base emitter voltage after 0.7, it, the base current increases and in addition to that, this reverse bias voltage we set to 3 volt. So, this combination entirely increases the collector current because this base emitter voltage, the amount of voltage we keep here influences the attraction of electrons, uh, triggers attraction of electrons more so that the collector current will be produced in the opposite direction. In the next step, if you want to increase the base current from 100 microamps, we increase the voltage from 0.7 to for example 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So, 
what happens is based on the forward bias characteristic of pn junction diode after the cut in voltage even if we increase the voltage 0.7 from 0.7 there is no increase in voltage but there is increase of current so we follow the same principle here we increase the voltage to 0.9 which increases the base current for example to 200 milliamps and increase the collector base voltage to 6 volt this increases the base current that's one thing and moreover 6 volt is comparatively more reverse bias greater reverse bias when compared to 3 volt before which influences the attraction of electrons more and increases the collector current further so third step again we set the base current to 300 milliamps for that for example we can have 1.2 volt plus 10 volt here so that base current is 300 microamps now and again this reverse bias is increased which triggers the attraction of electrons which further increases the collector current to a one step ahead so by this principle we can understand that how does the collector current increases by keeping the base current setting the base current at each level in a higher way step by step manner now we are going to study about the various regions and how this characteristic curve is obtained in this pattern so we know about the three modes or three regions main modes that i put parenthesis in the very start of the introduction video of the transistor there there was one mode called as cutoff mode or cutoff region so in cutoff mode what happened ib was zero or both the junctions were reverse biased so what is the active mode if you see uh, base emitter junction is forward biased and base collector junction is reverse biased here if you see once you reverse bias the base emitter junction the transistor moves to cutoff mode because you see this is forward biased n is connected to n and p is connected to p and once this is less than 0.7 it need not be negative reverse bias doesn't mean that it should be negative once it is less than 0.7 which is less than the barrier potential which is less than 0.7 this transistor does not conduct which means which if it is less than 0.7 we can experience very less base current which is zero so there is no conduction of the transistor though you keep this base collector voltage in a very high amount to 10 volt 15 volt if this does not reach 0.7 or if this is less than 0.7 there is no point of uh, the working of the NPN transistor because it does not conduct so if base current is zero which means we have not turned the base emitter voltage or increase the base emitter voltage up to the cutoff voltage or it is to from base emitter voltage is 0.1 voltage or 0 0.05 voltage base current will be surely zero which will not be enough to conduct the transistor so this is the cutoff region where base emitter is reverse biased so this is the cut off region again i want to tell about the active region what is active region base emitter region is forward biased and collector base region is reverse biased by default when i was talking about the working of the npn transistor it was in this pattern base emitter was forward biased and collector base was reverse biased this is the active mode of transistor where there will be curve of this manner so how does this happen i set the vcb to certain reverse bias voltage for example to 5 volt and then i cross this cutoff potential so what happens the collector current starts to increase okay this is the uh, by increasing the value of base current we can obtain the output characteristics of uh, npn transistor so this mode is called as this region is called as active region this entire region is called as active region of the transistor where this region base emitter region is forward biased and base collector region is reverse biased so now final region or final mode we want to talk about is 
saturation mode what is saturation mode in saturation mode both the junctions are forward biased here in this portion vce will be negative second quadrant is a, also a saturation region and this region is also saturation region first i'll explain from starting from the second quadrant and th then go to this region going here i told already vce becomes negative consider this equation in mind and we are talking about vc as negative so i put negative now here the control voltage is vbc let's have vbc equal to change this equation minus vce plus minus vce minus vb now if i increase the vbc the direction of the collector current changes because this gets forward biased now if i increase the vbc what happens vce increases in the negative manner for example if this is forward bias if i change this and if i increase vbc before the collector current was going inside when the terminal was in the reverse way like this collector current was going inside because electrons are attracting in the outwards towards is positive now if i make it reverse biased the direction of collector current is going to change which means this terminal is also forward biased because what happens is the repulsion of electrons takes place if there is repulsion of electrons towards the cn region collector current will flow in the opposite region so that is the reason for this to be a saturation region when vc goes to negative when you consider vc to be negative this equation changes and vbc is a control voltage here now if we keep on increasing vbc there will be more repulsion of electrons taking place since this is forward biased since this vbc is forward biased so what happens the direction of collector current changes so this is the saturation mode this is for second quadrant now talking about this region this small region from 0 to 0.7 is also very less it is greater than 0 but less than 0.7 if it is less than 0.7 as i already said it is still a reverse bias curve so when coming back to this region i told this region is also saturation region how this region is a saturation region so there is a small gap from 0 to this knee point of these curves this is also saturation region because here also though it is greater than 0 but it is less than the 0.7 this can be explained with the help of this equation vce equal to vbe plus vbc i am rewriting this vce minus vbe so coming to this region here vc is greater than 0 here but less than vbe for example when vc is 0.1 and this is 0.7 so this is still lesser than vbe even this is 0.2 still lesser than vbe so this means that this junction is still forward biased vbc is still forward biased which does not change the direction of the collector current so vbc is still forward biased in this region because though it is after the point 0 it is still lesser than vbe here if you can see so this is all about the uh, input and output characteristics of an npn transistor in common emitter configuration so we have to keep in mind that uh, in common emitter configuration emitter is grounded and vbe base emitter voltage and base current are input parameters and collector to emitter voltage and collector current are the output parameters uh, from which we can study the working of transistor here if you observe 
base current is zero we get some amount of collector current and base current is 100 milliamps we get 100 microamps we get 3 milliamps collector current 200 microamps we get 6 milliamps of collector current you can talk in terms of microamps or milliamps and again if it is 0.3 milliamps it, we get in 9 milliamps collector current so as i already said base current in microamps is amplified to correct collector current in milliamps